he's the best all-round racer in this competition. Really, Darrell, I think you need to clean your windshield. You're clearly not seeing this for what it is. Francesco's race to... It's time to find out. The racers are locking into the grid. need to prove they're the best. None of them have driven this course. None of them have used this fuel. Folks, this is going to be a great race. Well, Brent, all three of these street courses are classic round-the-house racetracks. This means that the LMP and Formula car should break out of the gate in spectacular fashion. Look for Francesco Bernoulli in particular to lead early. Here come the lights. Here we go! Let's go racing, boys! There's going to be tremendous speed from all these cars coming off the start line. None of them want to be left behind early. He's stopped in the back row, and look at the ground he's making up. McQueen and Francesco duel for that inside line as they head toward the first turn. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a great race. As they head into the Palace Hairpin, Francesco builds in the lead. Oh, hang on, boys. Here comes the dirt. Slipping and sliding, baby. Oh, boy. Francesco brought to a screeching halt. And Lightning McQueen is the first to take advantage. And just like that, folks, Francesco's lead is left in the dust. And this dirt track section continues to baffle some of these races. Yahoo! Man, McQueen looks happier than a roll bar at a demolition derby. That's right, Daryl. McQueen's mentor, the Hudson Hornet, was one of the greatest dirt track racers of all time. Everyone's jostling for position as we hit the asphalt again. Francesco lost a lot of momentum in the dirt. If he wants back in it, he's got to make it up in the tunnel and the tight turns of the Shibara district. Well, he's got some serious work ahead of him if he wants to get back in this race. It's anyone's race right now. This track has equalized.